Hello everyone, my name is Jiman and I'm going to tell you a few facts about Egypt today. Egypt is a country in Northeast Africa. The population of the country is around 180 million and the official language is Arabic. The capital is Cairo and is the biggest city in the Arab world. In Egypt, 90% of the population is Muslim and around 10% is Christian. Let's talk about the flag of Egypt and what it represents. The red band symbolizes the Egyptians' blood in the war against colonization. The white band symbolizes the purity of the Egyptian's heart. The black band below the white symbolizes the manner in which darkness is overcome. Egypt's revolutionary and liberation of work was an inspiration to several Arab countries and was adopted by many Arab states. The same horizontal tricolor is used by Iraq, Syria, Sudan, Yemen and formerly Libya. The only difference is the presence or absence of the distinguishing national emblems in the white band. Egypt is one of the biggest countries in North Africa. It has great culture and a lot of places to visit. Hello everyone, I'm Elena and I'm going to tell you about the Book of the Dead. In 1842, the German Egyptologist Karel Richard Lepsius transformed our understanding of Egyptian spirituality by publishing a collection of ancient texts. Lepsius calls them the Book of the Dead. Its 200 chapters are an exciting insight into the beliefs about the trials, joys, and fears of traveling in the mysterious realm of death. For centuries, the scriptures found in Egyptian tombs have been thought to be excerpts from older ancient scriptures. Later, when scientists learned how to read hieroglyphs, they discovered that these text excerpts were magical roof maps given to death to move safely through the afterlife. The Book of the Dead has been repeatedly translated and published in the modern world. It is an emblematic work of ancient Egyptian civilization, but even today we know very little about the book, its purpose, compensation, and structure. Hello everyone, I'm Nasia and today I'm going to tell you some interesting things about the beautiful country Egypt. The gods and goddesses of ancient Egypt were part of the people's everyday lives. It's not surprising that there were over 2,000 deities in the Egyptian pantheon. Some of these deities' names are well known. Isis, Osiris, Horus, Amonra, Hathor, Bastet, Thoth, Anubis and Ptah. All these gods had individual personalities and characteristics. They wore different kinds of clothing and held different objects. Each deity had their own area and they were often associated with several spheres of human life. Hello, I'm Rosie and today we are talking about fashion in ancient Egypt. Asian Egyptian clothes are filled with a variety of colors, designs and jewelry. The clothes that the Asian Egyptians wore were not only made for beauty but also for comfort. They are made to keep you cool while in a hot desert. Cleopatra is recognized as a fashion icon of her time. She is especially known for her makeup style and luxurious jewelry. Cleopatra was unique for her clothes. For every occasion, she had a different dress, makeup, and jewelry. Her daily dress was ankle length, made of linen, and on the side. She had two gold straps that went behind her neck and came together at the front, exposing the breasts. For her daily makeup, she wore blue shadows on her lower eyeline and on her upper green with a black and gold cat eyeline. The jewels are gold plate with the precious stones. The Asian Egyptians most often amulets, head jewelry and earrings. Hello, I'm Chanko and I'm going to tell you facts about Egypt. The afterlife was incredibly important to the Egyptians. They believed that by preserving the dead person's body, which they did through the process of mummification, their soul would live on in afterlife forever. The Pyramid of Khufu at Giza is the largest Egyptian pyramid. This incredible structure weighed as much as 16 Empire State buildings. Do you like playing board games with your pals? Well, so did the ancient Egyptians. One popular game was Senate, which was played for, for over 2,000 years. The game involved throwing sticks, in the same way we throw dice to see how many squares to move a piece forward on the board. The ancient Egyptians invented lots of things we still use today, such as paper, pens, locks and keys, and believe it or not, toothpaste. Another fun fact about Egyptian football 
is that there are two times that are fear revolves, but still sharing the same stadium, much like in Italy, where Milan and Inter are sharing the same stadium, even though they are rivals. The teams are Awakli and Zemalek, and they are both playing at Cairo International Stadium. The derby is known as the Quasco El Arab. Aswan is the third sunniest place in the world with 3,862 hours of sun each year. That's 10 hours of sun a day. Mount Katrin is the highest mountain in Egypt, standing 2,629 meter high. And the national animal of Egypt is a step eagle. Do you know which is the smallest continent in the world with main language English? Ships are three times more than people. One world will give it away, kangaroos. It is Australia, the smallest continent with the biggest foreign fauna. Australia is the world's sixth worst country and the only one that's also a whole continent. But with all that territory, over 80% of Australians live close to the coast. It has got the cleanest air. Australia hasn't got any active volcanoes. Before humans arrived, the continent was home to megafauna. If you had lived there about 46,000 years ago, you would be dead today. But you would have seen 3 meters tall kangaroos, 7 meters long lizards, and ducks with the size of a horse. Australia comes from the Latin word of size, meaning southern. The world's longest national highway is in Australia. It stretches for over 9,000 miles. The biggest property in Australia is about 40,000 square miles. The largest swimming structure on the planet is in the Australian Great Barrier Reef, and it is the biggest ecosystem in the world. There are 40 million of kangaroos, goats, the business, and six different types. It has a unique animal world, and it's one of the most remarkable countries. 80% of the animals are unique to Australia. Do you know that kangaroos and animals can walk backward? The platypus, an egg-like mammal that lives only in Australia, is one of the rare venomous mammals on our planet. The water creek population outside of Greece itself is in Australia. Actually, it is in Melbourne. Melbourne was the richest city in the world in 1880. Compared to the capital of Australia, and it's 100 years old. It's one of the most beautiful, clean, secure, and hospitable capital cities in the world. The biggest city in Australia is called Sydney. The climate in Sydney is subtropical, so there are warm summers and cool winters. It is among the top 15 most visited cities in the world. Around 8 million people visit Australia and they spend $6 billion. In 2018, Australia ranked third after Norway and Sudan on the Human Development Index. There are about 24 million sheep to 25 million people in Australia, which means there are three times more sheep than people. In Western Australia, it's against the world to have more than 100 kilos of potatoes. The most ancient fossils in the world were found in Australia. They were around 3 billion years old. There are so many fossils in this country that only 25% of them have been discovered so far. Australia has tons of unique flora and fauna species that you won't find anywhere else in the world. More than 90% of Australia is covered with plants. Since 1988, Australia has a national floral emblem and is the golden acacia. Australia is a multinational country with more than 200 different languages and dialects spoken there. People communicate in Greek, Chinese, Arabic, Mandarin, and other languages, but the main language is English. The difference between Australia's total length and its route is only 200 miles. The National Australian Airline Qantas uses recycled cooking oil to power its interstate flights. That were our facts and information about the smallest continent in the world. We hope you enjoyed it and remember something. Anyosio Chanel Marina Mida, Chanel Hango Keso Aso, Manaso Bangat Mida, Nugoyo. Hello, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. I can also speak English. I said hello, nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm Madeline, who are you? I'm Marina. I come from Korea. Oh, I love Korea and my friends love it too. Oh, really? Why don't you tell me something you know about it? Janita, Julia, Maria, come here. I'm going to tell you about the geography of South Korea. South Korea, officially the Republic of Korea, is a country in East Asia, consisting the southern part of the Korean Peninsula and the Charsa land border with North Korea. The capital of South Korea is Seoul. 
The weather during the spring is sunny and warm. The summer is wet, the autumn is refreshing, and the winter is freezing cold and snowy. Hibiscus is a nation flower and people usually call it Korean rose. It is the national flower of South Korea and is mentioned in the South Korea's national anthem. Hello, I'm going to tell you about the Korean flag. It has three parts, a white rectangular background, a red and blue jaguk in its center, and four black tree grams, one toward each other. The flag's background is white, a traditional color in Korea culture. The circle in the middle represents balance in the universe. The red half shows positive cosmic forces, and the blue half represents the negative cosmic forces. Each three grams represents one of the four classic elements, heaven, fire, water, and earth. Oh, hello from me too. I'm Maria. I'm going to tell you about the Korean culture. Let's start with the literature. It has been developed from its contact with Western culture. The Korean alphabet is called Hangyu. It consists of 24 letters. They use hieroglyphs. Now, let's talk about K-drama or Korean dramas. These Korean series are quite popular among teenagers all over the world. South Korea's economy is one of the most developed in the world. I'm sure you have heard of two of the most famous car brands, Kia and Hyundai. They are produced in South Korea. Their traditional sport is Taekwondo. It is a popular martial sport. Now, let's talk about the religion in South Korea. The most popular religion is Buddhism. Some people are Christian and many don't believe in any good. I am Julia and I can tell you about Korean cuisine. A traditional Korean table includes dishes or garnishes of five different colors to represent the Earth's five elements. Koreans eat with metal chopsticks and a spoon. A Korean meal expects all dishes to be served together. It generally finishes with green tea or beverages. Korean food is hot and spicy. Gochujang, in fact, is fermented red chili paste, and donjang, which is fermented soybean paste, make the food spicy. Did you know that chili was not known to Koreans until the 16th century? Red chilies, without which Korean cuisine would be quite different, came to Korea from Europe via Japan. Fermented food is central to the Korean table. Kimchi is the name of their national dish. Do you know that Koreans eat raw meat? No. Meat is often so fresh, it's still moving. Sinagji is octopus, which is cut up and served immediately spiced with sesame seeds and sesame oil. They eat a lot of rice and it used to be very important in the past because they pay their taxes with it. Koreans believe with its medicine. If you eat well, your mind and body will benefit. Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. Do you want me to tell you about the language and the music? Yes. 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 Okay, let's start with the music first. K-pop or Korean pop is a genre of music which originally comes from South Korea. It first appears in the early 90s and it is based on the Korean domestic music Gayo. Nowadays, K-pop is a mixture of pop, rock, jazz, Latino, reggae, electronic, country and a lot more. One of the earliest and the most popular K-pop group is Seo Taji and Boys. It appeared in 1992. They experimented with different styles of music and established the beginning of the K-pop music. Modern K-pop culture began with the boy band H.O.T. in 1996 and K-pop grew into subculture. Today, K-pop is famous among a lot of teenagers all over the world. The most famous K-pop groups are BTS, Blackpink, Big Bang, EXO, TXT, NCT and many others. To understand the lyrics of their songs, we need to know something about the language. In South Korea and North Korea, they use the Korean alphabet known as Hangul. It is created in the 15th century by King Sejong the Great. Hangul originally has 28 letters, 17 consonants and 11 vowels. Modern Hangul has 24 letters, 14 consonants and 10 vowels. Now let's talk about the basic Korean phrases. Annyeonghaseyo, it means hello and it is used in formal situations. Annyeong, it means hi and bye and it is used in informal situations.
Anyong eseo, it means goodbye, and it is used in formal situations. Gamsan mida, it means thank you, and it is used in formal situations. Kumao, it means thanks, and it is used in informal situations. Chisuam nida or mianam nida, it means sorry, and it is used in formal situations. Niane, it means sorry, and it is used in informal situations. And sarane, it means I love you, and it is used in both situations, formal and informal. Have you ever been in Spain? Actually, the official name is Kingdom of Spain. Spain is a country located in the southwestern Europe, occupying about 82% of the Iberian Peninsula. It is situated to the east of Portugal and to the south of France and the Pyrenees. It has a long coastline along the Mediterranean Sea and it includes the Canary Islands in the Atlantic and Balearic, and Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean. Canary Islands include the seven biggest islands. Tenerife is the largest and El Hierro is the smallest island. More than two million people live in the Canary Islands. Three main climate zones can be separated according to geographical situations and orographic conditions. The Mediterranean climate, characterized by dry and warm summers, is dominant in the peninsula. The semi arid climate, located in the southeastern quarter of the country, is in contrary to the Mediterranean climate. The dry season extends beyond the summer. The oceanic climate is located in the northern quarter of the country. In contrary to the Mediterranean climate, winter and summer temperatures are influenced by the ocean. The wildlife of Spain includes the flora and fauna of Spain. Spain has an estimately 60 to 70,000 species of animals. This country hosts some rare species of animals, including the golden eagle, Eurasian brown bear, Iberian wolf, birder vulture, and the Iberian lynx. Terrestrial mammals native to Spain and the island groups include the European hedgehog. The habitats include mountains, hills, forests, rivers, lakes, coasts, including the mainland and the island groups. Spain has eight to 9,000 species of plants, more than any other country in Europe. Much of this terrain is now covered with carted low trees bushes and plants. The national flower of Spain is the red carnation, which is not only beautiful and long-lasting flower, but also sends a message depending on the color. Since 1975, Spain has had a king who only does what the constitution allows him to. The king can declare a war, but only if the government asks him to do. The parliament is called Las Cortes Generals and it is chosen by the Spanish people by voting. So the government is a constitutional monarchy. Since 2014, the king of Spain is Felipe VI. He and Queen Leticia have two daughters. The government and the king's palace are in Madrid, the capital and the largest city of Spain. The population of the country is over 46 million people and the nation is divided in 70 autonomous communities where people have their own regional government. 12th of October is celebrated as the National Day in Spain and it's also called the Hispanic Day. It commemorates the arrival of Christopher Columbus in America. The celebration begins with a flag raising ceremony in Madrid by the King of Spain. This is followed by a military parade, which shows the country's weapons and artillery. One of the highlights of the day is a stunning air show. The airplanes leave trails of red and yellow smoke in the shape of the Spanish flag. A legend states that the red and yellow colors of the flag were chosen to honor the popular Spanish tradition of both fighting where the red color was chosen to represent the blood spilled by the bows, while yellow represent the sand in this bow fighting area.
National symbol of the country is also the official Spanish anthem, the Royal March, which is one of only four anthems in the world without lyrics. Now, let me introduce you to the cultural history. Spain is famous for cultural heritage. Did you know that Spain is the third country in the world on the UNESCO World Heritage List? Miguel de Cervantes is a famous Spanish poet. He is famous for his works. The most famous of them is Don Quixote. The book was first published in 1605 and it was published in 1615. Another famous person is Pablo Picasso. His famous work is Guernica, painted in 1937. It is exposed in the Museum of Queen Sofia in Madrid. Contemporary famous actor is Antonio Banderas. Except for being an actor, he is a producer and director. He is famous for his role as Zorro in the movie The Mask of Zorro in 1998. A famous singer is Julio Iglesias. He performs Latin and pop songs. If you decide to visit Spain, you should go to Salamanca's old town, Biscay Bridge or Alhambra. I will tell you about the Alhambra. Alhambra is the fortress and architectural complex in Granada, South Spain. It is dating from the Moorish period. Until 1492, the Alhambra was the residence of the Moorish rulers. It's a beautiful place which you have to see. Spaniards are known over the world for their love celebrations and festivals. Las Vegas might as well be the mother of all Spanish festivals. Las Vegas means the fires in Valencia and it is one of the best, craziest and most popular events taking place in Spain. Every single street in the city center is showcasing colorful giant paper figures named as Ninots. They are very often several meters tall, placed at the end of the parade is fantasy groups made to make fun with political figures or soap stars, for example. This celebration includes parades, fireworks, dancing, and ceremonial burning. But the most popular one is Tomatina. The Tomatina festival is the world's biggest food fight where the people throw tomatoes at each other. That festival takes place every year in August, but the event lasts only one hour. Other popular festival is Sending of the Pooh, Bulls. The festival takes place from 6th to 14th July every year. This famous event consists of, of eight days of burns that attract the relatives from around the world who want to be chased by bulls throughout the historic streets of Pamplona. Of course, we can't miss talking about flamenco. This is the most famous art form in Spain. It's a style of dance, singing, and guitar playing. The genre is known for its elaborate costumes with female flamenco dancers wearing incredible handcrafted dresses. Rosalie is a Spanish singer and songwriter. Initially, she is known for her contemporary interpretations of flamenco mu music. Rosalia received international attention after several collaborations with other famous artists. Now I'm going to share some facts about the production and food of Spain. Spain is the world's top olive oil producer. Spain produced about 1.8 million tons of olive oil in 2018. The main region for olive oil produced in Andalusia. Spain has the highest number of olive trees in the world. Food is a big part of life in Spain. The main dishes are almost always some kind of protein, like steak or fish. Here are some typical Spanish dishes. Paella, a rice dish with seafood or meat, such as rabbit, chicken and snails, popular especially in Valencia. Gaspacho, vegetable soup or stew. The Spanish traditional breakfast includes the popular churros, usually served with hot chocolate. Spain is also the home to beautiful beaches, unbelievable nightlife and incredibly diverse culture. It's which continues to surprise. So if you have the chance, you should definitely visit Spain. Brazil is the largest country in South America and the largest nation in the world. 
It forms an enormous triangle on the eastern side of the continent with a 7,400 kilometers coastline along the Atlantic Ocean. It has borders with every South American country except Chile and Ecuador. The Brazilian landscape is very varied. It is most well known for its dense forests, including the Amazon, the world's largest jungle in the north. But there are also dry grasslands called pampas, rugged hills, pine forests, sprawling wetlands, immense plateaus, and a long coastal plain. Northern Brazil is dominated by the Amazon River and the jungles that surround it. The Amazon is not one river, but a network of many hundreds of waterways. Its total land stretches 6,840 kilometers. Thousands of spices live in the river, including the infamous Piranha and the bottle of Pink River Dolphin. Until recently, scientists told Brazil's first settled questions about 10,000 years ago, but new evidence showed there were people living there at least 32,000 years ago. Some experts think they may have arrived from islands in the Pacific Ocean. Brazil was added to the map of the world during the great European explorations in the late 15th century led by Portugal and Spain. When Europeans first reached the coast of Brazil, the country was home to about 30 million indigenous people or Amerindians. Today, only about 300,000 remain living primarily in Brazil's remote spaces. Portugal established its first colony in Brazil in 1530. Colonies created sugarcane plantations along the coast and sent diamonds and go back to Europe. Soon people from West Africa were brought to Brazil to work as slaves. The discovery of large genuine gold reserves brought thousands of people from the coast and abroad to the interior of the country. Brazil is a federal republic with a president, a national congress and a legal system. From 1888 until recently, the country struggled with democracy, where a government is decided by the population as a whole. But in 1985, the military government was peacefully removed. And by 1995, Brazil's politics and economy had become peacefully removed, become fairly stable. Brazil has many different soils and climates, so it can produce a great variety of crops. Its agricultural exports include sugarcane, latex, coffee, cocoa beans, cotton, soybeans, rice, and tropical foods. Brazil is also South America's most industrial nation, producing chemicals, steel, aircraft, and cars. For thousands of years, people have been exploring the jungles of Brazil. But since Europeans arrived about five centuries ago, forest destruction has become a major problem. Most of Brazil's Atlantic rainforest is now gone, and huge tracts of the Amazon are disappearing every year. The government has established many national parks and refuges, but this only cover around 7% of the country. In the central western part of Brazil sits a flat, swampy area called the Pantanal. This patchwork of flooded lagoons and small islands is the world's largest wetland. Here live giant anacondas, huge guinea pig relatives called capabalas, and fierce South American alligators called caimans. Brazil has most known species of pond, 55,000, among all the countries in the world. About 30% of species of plants are endemic to Brazil. The Atlantic forest region is home to tropical and subtropical moist forests, tropical dry forests, tropical savannas, and plant growth forests. Most Brazilians are descendants from 380 groups, Amerindians, European shelters mainly from Portugal and Africans. Starting in the 19th century, waves of immigrants from Europe, the Middle East, and even Japan added to this mix. This diversity of people has created a rich religious, musical, and culinary culture. Brazil is also home to the world's largest carnival, Rio Carnival. Each year, in the days leading up to land, around 2 million people take to the streets of the Rio de Janeiro to enjoy music, dancing, elaborate costumes, and parades. About two-thirds of the population are Roman Catholics. Catholicism was introduced and spread largely by the Portuguese Jesuits who arrived in 1549 during the colonization with the mission of converting the indigenous people. The society of Jesus played a large role in the formation of Brazilians' religious identity until their exclusion of the country by the Marcus of Pombo in the 18th century. 
Brazil has a strong World Cup team. And the soccer World Cup in 2018 in Russia, Brazil played in Group B and played matches against Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia. In 2018, Brazil is again one of the top teams. It has a fourth position before Germany pre-World Cup. Brazil already won the World Cup five times. Brazil holds the Soccer World Cup in 2040 when Germany won their fourth Soccer World Cup trophy in the tournament. Brazilians are soccer crazy and their country has produced some of the best players. The most famous of all is Edson Arantes do Nascimento, better known as Pelé. Brazil has won the World Cup soccer finals five times, more than any other nation.